No. Tools? This does not bode well. Oh god. Hey guys, welcome back to the checkout. It's Courtney from Today.com and this week I am taking you to work. That's right, I'm taking you to the Today.com offices because I'm going to be trying out the Taxin Mini Under Desk Bicycle Exerciser. Whew, that's a mouthful. I got it for $33 at Walmart. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a bicycle that goes under your desk and you can ride it while you're working. It's supposed to track the number of calories that you're burning while you're riding it, the distance that you've ridden for, and the time that you've ridden. In addition to that, it's supposed to help boost your metabolism, help with aging and fatigue and blood circulation. It sounds like a dream. It sounds like exactly what I need in my life. So I wanted to take you guys to the office with me this week to see how it works. Let's check it out. All right, so I lugged this box to work. This is the exercise bike. Let's see what it looks like. I wonder how much assembly it really requires. No. Tools? This does not bode well. Oh God. Some assembly required. Let's see here. This took me 10 minutes to set up, so easy. Let's bring it to my desk. The number one thing I'll take away from today is that everybody in my office was really curious about this bike. They all had a ton of questions for me once they realized what I was doing. They didn't notice that I was riding my bike before I told them about it. It's a little bit weird. Is it discreet? It's quiet. Yeah. Yeah, I, didn't I know. I couldn't even tell. Yeah. Right. Oh my god! That's so cool! One of the things that I loved about this bike was it was silent as a mouse. Really nobody heard it. Things that I didn't like about it at first uh, is that it just, I, I was never able to find the right position to get in like a total groove. I definitely didn't bike for the entire day. On the whole, today went pretty well. Um, I am going to set some goals for tomorrow. I want to ride for 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the afternoon. So basically I wanna see if I can get a full hour of cycling in during the day. And I wanna see if this bike can make me break a sweat. This bike definitely was more effective today when I put my mind to using it for a designated amount of time. I rode the bike for an hour uh, at half hour period. So kind of half an hour around lunch half an hour later on in the day. Um, and then after work, I actually met up with a friend to take a different workout class. The bike was actually a little bit distracting at some points throughout my day. Uh, I usually have to make a couple calls a day to people that I don't know. And just the simple motion of pedaling on the bike made my voice sound a little bit awkward. So I had to just completely stop at that point. It's day three of using the under the desk bike, and today I made one of my coworkers, Tyler, try it out for size. Tyler, are you ready to oh, cycle? I'm so ready to cycle. All right, let's see. Um, you know, if my legs are wide enough, it works. Okay. There's no resistance? There's no resistance. That knob, I think, is fake. Oh, that's a shame. I will. <laughs> Yeah, that's not, it's not really doing much for me. So this isn't for tall people, so um, if you're tall, I would not recommend buying this. So that was a good reminder that this might not work in all office settings if that's where you intend on using this under the desk bike. Final thoughts on the under the desk bike. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great way to fidget and get my energy out throughout the day. I use it more for that than for rigorous exercise, so it definitely served its purpose in that sense. Some of my coworkers were not as huge of fans as I was. Tyler, as you saw, is six foot two, so he's really tall and didn't feel like this product was built for him. We actually got in touch with the company, which I now learned is called K-Taxon, not Taxon, the K is not silent. We got in touch with them and asked if there's any way to adjust the bike for people of different heights or if there are other models uh, that would fit better for somebody tall like Tyler and they said 
that unfortunately the bike is not able to be adjusted for height so maybe something to take into consideration if you want to get this product. I still haven't quite figured out what the knob on the front of the bike does but the company said that it does not increase resistance. I plan on keeping the bike underneath my desk. I'm hoping it encourages me to move around a little bit more throughout the day and get some exercise in while I'm at work. Multitasking is the way to go. Uh, but for now, it's the end of the road. See you guys next time.